Hi and welcome to this little tutorial on problems with Vol0. As you know, Vol0 is the volume in the simulator as well as in the official ONTEP um, environments that contains all the configuration and log files. Sooner or later Vol0 will fill up and stop your node from functioning in the cluster, at least with the simulator, because it's a small volume. Why does it fill up? The default snapshot schedule is 10 snapshots in total, so Vol0 on the simulator will um, pretty quickly fill up because of the snapshots. And another reason why it fills up is because the log files rotate and they will take quite some space before long. And these log files are located in uh, slash mroot slash etc slash log and mlog. Now what we can do to um, uh, prevent Vol0 from filling up, we can add an additional disk to agar0 and then grow Vol0 which is a waste of disk space, but it's a simulator, so it does really matter. We can remove snapshots and set the snapshot schedule to zero. We can create a crontap entry for root that removes the rotated log files. Now let's have a look at that. So first I log into my cluster and I add a disk to agar0. I've only got one node, this is a single node cluster, and I'm going to add one single disk to agar0 of node 1. So it warns me that I cannot remove this disk after I've added it to the aggregate, so I should be careful with that. Again, this is a simulator, so we do not care about that. So it summarizes what it's going to do. It's going to add one single disk of about 4 gigabytes to the aggregate, and we confirm. Now we have to enter the node shell in order to be able to grow Vol0, because Vol0 is a 7-mode volume. So we uh, run node run node 1, and we list the size of Vol0, which is 3 gigabytes, and we're going to add another 3 gigabytes to that particular volume. So now the volume is 6 gigabytes, so we have some more space. And if we still don't trust that, we can disable the snapshot schedule and remove the snapshots. In real life, you might not want to do that, because you never know when you want to use the snapshot. It's not very likely, but in the simulator, we can simply remove the snapshots. So we run snap delete, and we delete all snapshots that are in Vol0. We confirm, and it has deleted the snapshots. Now we set the schedule to zero which means no snapshots will be taken after this anymore. So it's all zeros, no snapshots schedule is present. After we've done that, we can go to the system shell to manage the log files. In order to be able to access the system shell, we have to go to the diag mode and um, unlock the diag user and then we give the diag user a password. Maybe you've already done that, but just to make sure, so we enter a password for the diag user, enter the password twice, and then we run the system shell command to access the system shell of that particular node, which is node 1. Now the diag user has limited permissions, so we have to become a root in order to be able to uh, remove log files. And so we run a sudo bash, and then we, after we check that we're really root, we can create a crontap entry. So we run crontap-e, means editing the crontap file, and we add a line. Now this means that we are going to run a particular command at zero minutes past zero hours, every day of the month, every month of the year, and every day of the week. And the script we're going to run is cleanup. So we save the crontap entry. So zero minutes past zero hours means at midnight. So we check it and we see that it will run at midnight and the cleanup script obviously has to be created. So we open a new file called cleanup and we cd to slash mroot slash etsy log remove all the files that have zeros inside because the rotated log files will have zeros in the name and we do that for the mlog directory as well and after we've done that if 
the script is run at midnight, it will remove all rotated log files. We save the script and we have to make it executable, otherwise it won't be able to run. So we uh, add the X bit to the script, then we create a test file. This file should have some zeros in the name, so we call it test.0001. And after that, we can test the script by running it. And we check whether the file has been removed. And after that's effect, then we're done. So, so we've grown vol0, we have disabled the snapshot schedule, and we have created a cron entry to keep our uh, vol0 nice and clean. And we're done.